Okay, so this happened <laughs> and it was an amazing experience, an amazing feeling. But why does it matter? It matters because of two things. I feel like we're so, there's so much tension here that I've been carrying for so long. My body's still holding on to it that I have to let it go. But because of my identity, and I want this to be in the episode of Sarah, there's just this new sense of a new identity and a new being and a new opportunity, which is something that I want to bring to Sorry, I cannot stop touching my hair. I just cannot. My show as well, and to Kuruja the Noit. And so I guess I feel like I have to reintroduce myself and I have to kind of, so I'm L. <laughs> Sada L. Joan, that's my name. I'm an actor. I have a documentary series on YouTube where I try to gather conversations that I have with different kinds of people where very different people from very different backgrounds and very different perspectives of life come together for one common goal, which is talking about consciousness, talking about the seeking of the truth, talking about philosophy, talking about concept creation, and talking about just how beautiful life is and also observing our behaviors, what we do, what we don't do, what we should be doing, what we don't say. And I recently have just shaved my hair and almost like a new person is, has been born. So I felt like I had to reintroduce myself. So hello and welcome to my show. I am also developing a, a longer episode, which is why it's called the documentary series, because all of the conversations that are here, especially the playlist, Os Corujas, The Owls, they will be part of the bigger episodes where then I mix with some interviews that I've been doing. And the first episode that you can see is going to be collectivism and anarchism that I'm developing here in Barcelona. And I already have three of the six interviews that we're doing. One of them, there's a life that you can check that was really, really cool. And the great thing about the lives is that it's so magical that the moment that you come in, I don't want there to be, oh, welcome, blah, blah, blah. No, you come in and there's just a serious conversation already happened. So that you come in and you already kind of, you, you are almost brought into something and you let yourself go and let yourself see what's going on in the, in the conversation. And this last life, was about compassion, which was so beautiful. And why emergent conversations about the emergent evolution? Because the evolution as a species, the evolution as a behavior, the evolution of our consciousness, the evolution of ourselves, the getting to know ourselves, there is just, there's so much to talk about. And it always ends up being something about that because that's how my mind works. I like to see where we were and where we're going. And we're in the middle here, the owls, the shkurushish. So it really grasps the moment and the present moment and the beauty of it and how the present is really where we'll be able to see and observe this evolution in the most beautiful way. So if you like those kind of observations and you like documentaries, and by documentary is the art of recording factual, factuality, factuality. And, and that's what it happens because nothing is planned, most of it. Most of the time they just happen randomly, for example, the conversation kingdom uh, was the one of the probably the most important one because I was literally walking on the street in Lisbon. I was gonna go to an improv class and then somehow something happened and there was just no class. And because I'm a little bit hard to communicate, I don't have WhatsApp, I don't have any of the groups, people forgot to tell me. My my colleagues forgot to tell me because they're just used to put it in the group that there is no class. And then so I didn't know and I showed up to class and everything was closed and I was like, what is going on? <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm not gonna go home. I'm, I was, I'm just being called to walk to this part of a town in Lisbon near like warehouses and the, like a port area sort of. 
And I did, and I, as I was walking, Angelo saw me from far and he was like, hey, what's up girl? Uh, do you wanna come, come, do you wanna like sit down and talk? And I was like, okay, all right, <laughs> let's do it. So I sat down with him and we just had such a beautiful conversation. Some people have told me that it's a bit hard to understand the conversation and follow the conversation, but I believe that the what I what I try to do and what is really this show about is that I tried that the person comes to you in the most authentic way, in their most authentic way. It's hard because I put three ca cameras on them <laughs> and I have two mics, so it's like a big deal. Uno, dos, cuidado, Pepa. And if you're on the show, you got some, some, something special yeah, going on because it's not an easy thing. And I don't tell anybody the questions that I'm going to have. Some of the interviews for the longer episodes, I do plan a little bit and I do say, oh, look, these are the questions. But most of the time for the playlist, the owls, corujas, the owls, nothing was ever scripted. I literally pull out my cameras and I'm like, let's go. And I always try to make a conversation about and what is the purpose of all of this? Like, what the heck are we doing here? And most of these questions that you can check over here, <laughs> they mention this a lot. And some people that I've that I talk to, they don't think it matters. Other people think it really does does matter. I'm one of those that thinks that there's there's got to be something major that we're doing here on Earth. I definitely feel that, and I think this this show is one of the things I'm meant to do here. And what I also think this show does, it's like there's no end. There, there will never be an ending to this because there's no right answer. And there's no, there's not one right answer and there's no finite answer. And it's so beautiful in the second part of Universus Parallelos, it's called the last conversation. One of the, the latest conversations that you can check right now, La Sencillesa, where the person I'm talking to, he's actually mentioning that it's too beautiful that trying to understand it almost, almost kit takes the beauty away from it. And I think that is just so special. It's such a beautiful way to look at it and so innocent. And so, so this is a journey of talking about that to really help understand what is going on in our lives. Because me coming back from the United States to, to back to Portugal, to, to Europe, was really tough because my, my dream is, is to be an actor. And, that, and that's the goal and that's where I'm going. Uh, but you know, because of visas and a lot of other things, I had to go back to, to Europe. And I went through, you know, a, a big burnout, a lot of depression, and I was going through, you know, the, this face of like, what is the world? What is going on? A lot of things that happen in California that people are talking about, about the world and about politics and about, things that people in power do and and that can really get to you and that can really get depressive so and i got out of it and i know that it was through a lot of therapy of course a lot of connection to nature but also a lot by changing the perspective on my mind and changing the way i see things not necessarily not believing that those things are not real but evolving as a conscious being to the extent that they don't affect you. And I think that's what we need. And this show really is based on, the, on a premise that Vishen Lakani, Lakani, the creator of Man, Mind Valley, put out there, which is the four levels of consciousness. And he says that right now we have 70% of the people in level one, and for the problems of the world to sort of calm down a little, we have to level it up to level two and level three. We can no longer afford to have 70% of the world's population in level one. So I think this show 
has the tools through the several conversations for you to level up your consciousness. And basically, for me, all that there is, the change is so little, is like looking at the perspective from here, but you can actually look at it from over here. Just, it's just like so crazy because it seems like all my, my entire life, like everything that I've attracted, everything that I've done, turns out to be helpful and to, and to connect with this, this theme and this collectivization in a way, because one of the jobs that I was doing in Portugal that was, you know, financing a little bit of my life while I was starting off with YouTube was that I was a green consultant uh, for audiovisual productions. And what does that mean? It means that I calculate the CO2 equivalent that one audiovisual production emits. And that's why there's CO2 equivalent at the end of every video. And what is CO2 equivalent? CO2 equivalent are the six most pollutant gases that we emit to the atmosphere. So it's not just CO2, it's all the other five. And actually CO2 turns out to be one of them, the one that pollutes the, like the least. And all of those gases, the really six harmful greenhouse gases together we've i don't know who exactly in what identity but uh, has decided to gather in an, an unity and that unity is co2 equivalent and so i measure that so let's just say a commercial from google which is something that i did emitted around 80 tons of co2 equivalent which is a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot just for an example you by watching this video right now or by watching one of my one of the other videos you have here on this uh, on this show, like for example, Los Siete Sentidos, The Seven Senses, which is about 33 minutes. So half an hour on YouTube, you would emit around, it's very little, little. So imagine 80 tons for a commercial that it's about 30 seconds long. The bigger, the, and this is something that we've talked about also on this show in one or two or three conversations, because the bigger the experience and the life experience, the bigger the consciousness. And the bigger the consciousness, one would assume the better the, decision, the, the better the decisions that one can make thinking globally and thinking, oops, thinking globally and thinking more widely and more worldwide. Yeah, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Wow. I hope it makes sense when I'm editing this. Welcome to Kuru the Noit, the Night Owls. I hope, seriously from the bottom of my heart, that you enjoy it and that it brings some clarity to what the heck are we doing here on Earth? I think it also makes part of the evolution. This is happening for a reason. I think it makes e nós temos de olhar para este comportamento e este ciclo, a meu ver, como uma coisa que faça parte. Pode não, não sei se está certo ou errado, porque isso também é relativo, mas faz parte. Agora, é ter uma visão certa de onde é que está a ir e porque é que está a ir dessa maneira e o que é que tem de se mudar em relação a isso. E também, se sentem livre para comentar e pensar sobre isso, refletir um pouco e dar a sua opinião, porque o que eu gosto de YouTube e o que eu acho que eu escolhi para ter chosen to have my content on YouTube and not on any other platform is because the live connotation that it brings that people can watch it live and actually participate live on the comment section and participate with insights that are meaningful and really really powerful to the world in my opinion and the second second thing is that it connects all of us it doesn't matter where you are in the world it's a platform that can hold enough people at the same time to be participating and to bring their perspectives and their experience to here. So all of that is welcome as long as it stays at least on a frequency of support minimum and love. Everything below that, uh, please make sure that you think about it before you put it. Because these people here, they, like I said, they are vulnerable. I'm used to it. I've had training. I've, 
I, I, you know, I like it. This challenges me. This actually uplifts me, lights me up. The whole improvising, let's go. But these people here, they're either doing because they really care for me and they want to be part of it, or because they have something to say but they're not really sure how, or because, you know, they were like, okay, I'll just do it. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. So just please, before you go and you comment something that might not be, even if they say something that you don't agree with, just be mindful that this is a very vulnerable place for them. And if you want to criticize, criticize me, put the blame on me, all right? Not on them. Because I'm really thankful for the people who have decided and to have said yes to my craziness and to be like, all right, let's just record this shit and see where it goes. And like I said it once, I'll say it again. If they are here on this, on this show, I believe that they're angels because it's not easy to just, you know, come forth and be like, all right, let's just do whatever happens and let your wisdom just come alive and in whatever way that it is. And having your face and your body and your expression being exposed. Yeah, I think that's it. See you soon. Bem-vindos ao Coruja da Noite.